Hey everybody, how's it going? I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on a huge headache problem solution. If that makes sense. So, a lot of us have had the unfortunate experience of creating a lesson in Canvas where students need to watch a YouTube video in order to complete the task. A lot of times this happens when we're gone and we have sub plans and we put the video in the sub plans and then we get a dozen emails from students saying, no, oh no, the video's broken and I can't access it. And it's frustrating. It happens and it's not the student's fault. It's not your fault. It's just kind of the, the natural consequences of trying to integrate so many different technology services when considering their terms and conditions. But luckily, there is a solution and it's so easy. Okay, we're gonna jump in to Canvas because this is where the tool lives. It's not anywhere else. You don't have to download any other software. It's already built in and it is super easy to use. So. What you want to look for is on the left navigation bar, this icon that says Yuja. Click on that. If this is your first time using Yuja, it'll probably be blank and not have any content in there because you haven't uploaded anything. But I've used this and I've done a couple of different things. My first suggestion would be to create a new folder and that way you can organize your videos by class or by topic and keep everything nice and tidy. I'm going to jump into my general biology folder and here you can see I have a few videos. I even have another folder that's further organizing some of the content that I've uploaded. What we want to do here is to first click on this upload button. We click on the upload button, it pulls up a dialogue window where we can choose to upload videos directly from our hard drive, which is really cool. Um, we can upload audio files, so if you have podcasts or things that you've saved, you can do that. Documents, um, the most common is gonna be the links, and you notice that it gives you three other options, so YouTube, Vimeo, or some other web link. Um, YouTube is going to be our go-to and that's what we'll use for this tutorial. Okay, click YouTube, new dialog box opens where you paste the link, give it a title, a description, and then we have some other options to choose from. I've gone ahead and I've pre-selected a video to streamline the tutorial and this one is one that I have used before about photosynthesis, about uh, just kind of the overall process that we're doing in an upcoming lesson. So instead of clicking embed, which usually is what we do when we're putting a video in Canvas, I'm just gonna copy the share link, okay? So copy this link, come back over to Yuja, and paste it right in there. Okay, it takes a couple moments to paste, and now we can go ahead and add a title. This is photosynthesis review. This is the Bozeman Science is for AP Bio. And the next option is uh, to embed it or to import it. What we want to do is import it when available. Now, it's important to know that, uh, that this isn't always going to be an available option. It all comes down to how the content creator in YouTube or Vimeo or wherever the video is hosted, how they've set up their sharing permissions and streaming permissions. Most often, the import from YouTube is available, and that's the one that we're going to go with for today. Okay, so back over here, um, we need to acknowledge that it's being downloaded for instructional purposes and it is being downloaded which means that it's now in Yuja and uh, you don't have to use YouTube anymore. Okay, add a couple of tags. We'll go with an AP bio tag. We'll go with a photosynthesis tag. We'll go with a Bozeman tag and a, a review. Review. We'll go with the review tag. All right. So there we are, I'm going to now start the upload and it goes pretty fast. Okay, already there. Uh, this is all happening in real time, no cutting, no editing, and there it is now inside of Yuja. The next step is 
adding is. The fun part is creating your assignment. So again, I've started one, pre-made an assignment. This will be um, watch the video to review the process of photosynthesis. Okay, and we'll select all of this and we'll make it big and bold and well, how about we'll also make it center and justified because that looks nice. All right, so now here we are. We're also going to center justify this new line and adding the video. Okay, come over here to where we have our options, our, our, our tools, and come down to apps. And for me, because I've used Yuja before, it's already there. For you, it might not show up automatically. Just click view all and scroll down to the bottom. There it is, Yuja Media. Click that. Now it's opening up an external tool dialog box. The most recent video you've uploaded is right there at the top, which saves you a whole heap of time. If you're not looking for the most recent one, there's a search box, then filters, and you can find it super quick using your keywords or just typing in the title. So I'll click on this photosynthesis overview, insert the content, and just like magic, there it is right there in my assignment that I've created. So I could add some more instructions for my students after this, adjust the points, the due dates, and make it available, click save and publish, and we're done. And that is, that's as easy as it gets. So what this will do, again, as a recap, instead of having students watch the link posted from YouTube, we're downloading a YouTube video into Yuja. And now students have free access to these videos. You can share them with colleagues. There's quizzes that you can make based on the videos where it will pause a lot like Nearpod or Edpuzzle. So there's really a ton of different ways that we can utilize Yuja, hopefully to solve problems and to just make your teacher life just a little bit better. Okay. If you have any questions, definitely reach out in uh, email or through the comments. If you're new to this particular channel, consider subscribing. I'll be posting several videos helping teachers do better technology stuff and maximize workflow, boost engagement, all that good stuff. So thanks for tuning in. Until next time, we'll see you later. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through.